Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. How was your day? Welcome everyone to this class. This is the class number eight. Today is Wednesday, August the 30th, 2023. Thank you so much for being on time. Um, Make sure, yeah, everything is, is okay. Okay, so today the agenda that we have we have an a lesson objective. The topic is, the topic is about suggestions about the relevance of topic in the in a procedure manual. Okay, and also we have a conversation at the end to practice. So at the end of this class, you will be you will be able to make suggestions about the relevance of topics in a procedure manual. So it means, um, for example, in your company, the material that is prepared for trainings for new uh, people, for new hires. Um, so do you consider that it needs to be changed, that we need to improve it? So you are going to make suggestions today. How to train? How to um, provide trainings to new employees? Okay. First, I have a, a restaurant phrases that we are going to complete. Okay. We have different different phrases here in this wheel. We are going to complete them, okay? Some of them are incomplete. That is why we're going to, to complete the phrases. Okay, Hilberto, you will be the first one. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, in this case, it is a question. Uh-huh. Is that all? When the waiter uh, tell you that phrase, is that all? Uh, the customer. Okay, is the waiter, all? the waiter uh, says, or the customer, that phrase. You said the customer? Yes, question the customer. Oh, it is a question for the customer. For example, you said, I want to order my main uh, dish that will be chicken, rice, salad, uh, soda. So, yeah. and the waiter will ask you, uh, is that all? Eso es todo, right? Or do you want something else? Okay. Okay, uh, Daniela, you will be next. Are you there? Okay. Okay, this phrase is for the customer or for the waiter? Um, <laughs> One more scene. I will have uh huh. Mm, I will have money. <laughs> oh well, in this case, uh, it is in a restaurant. Imagine that you are in a restaurant um, and you are ordering food. Uh, oh when yeah. The, mm -hmm, when the waiter I asks, will have, I will have tacos with soda. Okay. Uh huh. So this is like additional, additional to your order, right? 
one more thing. I will have a uh, um. I will have a uh, a hot soda, as you said. It could be that they are talking about the beverage. Oh, okay, good. So now, uh, Roberto, we will be next. Okay, is that a, a phrase for the waiter or the customer? Okay, teacher, the question is um, anything else? Um, this phrase is the is the waiter when the waiter? ask the, the waiter mm -hmm. when ask the, the customer, for example, anything else? Uh, uh, he says anything else because he has a question a customer. He need, um, for example, uh, a drink, or he need a salad, or he need a, a dessert, or, or other meal. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Lady. Is there any? Uh huh. You can continue the phrase. Is there any? Pizzeria. Okay. Um. Imagine that you are in a restaurant, and you have a conversation with the the waiter. So you mm -hmm. are the customer. Who, who will use this phrase? You or the waiter? Is there any any uh, combo? Is there any promotion? Uh huh. No promotion. Okay. Is there any promotion for two persons? Okay. Family. Good. Uh -huh, or for the family. Okay, good. That will be the customer. Thank you so much, lady. Okay. Um, Kathy Briseida, are you there? Yes. Okay, you will be next. Can I take your menus? Who phrases that? Waiter or customer? Um, waiter. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Okay, next. Maria Leticia. Yes. I would like, mm -hmm. you can continue the phrase. I would like chicken and soda. Okay. I would like chicken and soda. Okay, that will be customer phrase. Yes. Very good. Carlos Arsenio, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Uh, Carlos, you will be next. Uh, and, uh -huh. Me, teacher. Which one the question? And for you. So is that for is that a phrase that says the customer or the or the waiter? Um, is the waiter okay when you are when you are with a second person right so they try they they take one order and then when they they take the second order they said they said and for you right 
Okay. When I went to second order. Mm -hmm. ah, For example, okay. you and your wife go to the restaurant. Okay. Uh huh. And the waiter is is taking your order, and then he asks your wife, and for you. Ah, so is is customer. So the waiter says that. Or it could be the customer, uh, but ah, customer but one, has, has customer been. one, uh -huh, ask customer two. Uh -huh, okay. 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 Good. Okay. Uh, Mauricio Buruca, are you there? Oh, hello, teacher. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm here, but uh, the. Uh, from now I'm driving. Maybe, um, maybe in a few minutes. I can not participate. available yet. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Mauricio Benavides, and what about you? And I'm you? here, present. Available. Can... Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh you will be next. Just tell us who phrase is that? Who says that 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 phrase? The customer or the waiter? If they are in a restaurant. Uh huh. Would you like uh, the waiter, the waiter? Would you like order? Uh huh. Would you like to order? Okay, the waiter. Very good. Thank you. Rodrigo, are you available? Yes, teacher, I am available. Okay, good. We will be next. Who said that? Customer or the waiter? Customer. Customer, that's all. Okay. When they are the customer already ordered everything, okay, that's all. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let me see who is missing. I guess everybody already participated. Sophia, Sophia Crespo, are you there? I'm there, teacher. Okay. It will be next. Mm -hmm. Who said this, that? This is from a uh, waiter. Okay. Complete the phrase. I'm afraid we do not have anything else. Okay. It could be an, a specific product. That is a, mm -hmm. the, a specific product. Uh, for example, it could be um juice from for the salad. Mm -hmm. Could be a kind of salad or or dessert that they don't, don't have. So I'm afraid we don't have any salad. It could be. Okay. Okay. Good. Lady, who said that? Uh, customer. Uh huh. May I have hungry? <laughs> oh. Um, May I have, and you can say the name of a meal, for example. May I have a um, bottle of water, please? That's, that's uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. May I have a snacks? Okay. May I have the menu, please, to see what I can order? Okay, mm. good. Carlos will be next. Mm. 
Who said that? The waiters. The waiter. Okay. What well, would you like to drink? Okay. Good. Thank you so much. And the last one that says, are you ready to order? Who said that? Volunteer? The waiter. The waiter. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Phrases that are used in a restaurant. Okay. Good. Okay, we are going to see who brought what was requested yesterday. Um, let me check. Okay, thank you so much for the ones that already participated. Okay, I really appreciate it. Okay, let me see uh, Roberto Carlos says okay first i arrive okay remember uh robert punctuation okay first comma let me zoom this okay teacher i get it okay first i arrive at work around uh 6 40 a.m and I had breakfast at 6.50 a.m. After that, I'd start working. Okay, I start working at 7.15 a.m. And turn on my computer. Then I review the emails and I give priority to the information received. Finally, Comma. I do my procedures of reviewing the invoices received and my procedure is as is the follow. Okay. Invoice audit procedures. And here we have the, the process. Review and separate the invoice by the customer, sort them by priority, review information, review the physical product. If everything is correct, consider is accepted and make the report. Send the email specifying that the audit is accepted. Okay, very good. Just punctuation, okay? Be careful with punctuation. Yes. That um right now I I I checked the the observation. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, teacher, eh, that was a homework or or for depending persons who didn't make the, the last the, the last homework. I I I I am I'm lost in that. Yes, it it was it was a homework for today. But if you if um, you didn't complete it, so you can do it today, no problem. Okay. Okay, is, I, I will do I will do. I sent in the chat in the group, I sent the instructions and also the the link where you are going to do it. Okay, I will do that. Okay. It was yesterday, okay? At the end of the class. Okay, lady says first. Oh, very good, Robert, because you used uh, the phrases of frequency here, like first, after that, then, finally. Very good job with that, okay? Lady says, first Great. I get to the office. If I stay in the office, check the emails, or if I go to, the, to visit to schools or another place, places. I drive to the destination, to the destination, okay? Second, we, we meet, okay, with the team, okay? Uh, will be double, double E here, lady. Be careful with spelling. 
I meet a team to see the activities. And we may have uh, a call of meetings, workshops, or another activity. When, then every six months, we submit the report to financiers the project. And once a year, we present extensive reports. Once a year. Oh, it is just one report. You present an extensive report. We present an extensive report because it is just one. Okay. Uh, well, it, here, lady, it could be I, we make a calendar of, acti of meetings or we schedule meetings we make the this the schedule of meeting okay thank you so much very good job lady let me see first uh carlos arsenio it says first i check the attendance of all the department after that i check my mail and answer then mails emails plural then i request my phone then comma i request by phone calls all the people leaves or absences finally i ask the department heads for the authorization so i can pass the report to human resources department okay good Carlos, that is done once um once a month or every day. Uh, every once day. A week or every, every day. day. Yes, because uh, I saw a lot of people working the in the factory. Oh. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. If I do this activity in the final of the of the Catorcena, <laughs> really I don't finish. Oh, that is why you have to do it every day. Yeah, because yeah. uh I consider when is it is a big company there are people um that have uh, medical leaves all days right yes it's a lot of uh, absent uh leaves of course um fire and the people uh renuncia la gente que renuncia they quick yes of course okay and also yeah. are you uh responsible for new hires uh no 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 uh maybe uh my function is like uh um it's like a review uh, all these attend all the stuff and then i i pass to the human resource human resource have to do uh hire people uh, yes hire people and them to do filter and and then receive my information to uh change to the money for example mm -hmm. they they analyze uh, my information okay uh -huh. they maybe uh like a conversion to dollars ah, okay yes uh i uh to do only uh, uh marcas brands Perdón, excuse me. Brands? Eh, no, no, marcas no, no. De, de entrada de 7 pm, 12 oh, pm. Oh, ok, PM. like check in, like the check in. Yes, check log in and check out. Log in, uh -huh. log yes. in and log out. It could be. De, de, de cada empleado. Of each employee, ok. Yes, yes. Good, thank you so much. Ok, okay. now Andrés says Andres, first I arrived to my job at 7 a.m. 
Then, comma, I take the list of all the security agents that arrive to the office. After that, comma, I give the instructions for my supervisors for where the security agent is going to bring security these days. I give the instructions for my supervisor to my supervisor, okay, for where the security agent is going to bring security this day. Oh, where the agents are going to be located during the day, okay. Later, I check my emails and answer all emails. And finally, it could be a here, here period. No necessario the end. Finally, comma, I send my reports for human resources. Comma, they can apply the information for the payroll. Okay, good. Just punctuation and like uh, um, a structure better some ideas. Okay. Good job. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Rodrigo says first. First of all, after I arrive to the office, I put on my PC and log log in to the work software. Then I start to check all my pending emails from the last time. I check the mailbox later when i when i finished okay all my mails actions read and answered i coordinated some of other actions with my co-workers and partners the actions could be talk about pending issues future virtual meetings progress on re on reports and so on. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh oh, let me see. Finally, uh, at the end of the day, again, check the last email when I when I have haven't okay when i haven't re replied in, in the time when i haven't replied in the time and then turn off my computer my pc okay good thank you so much um good job just try to to fix us, uh, for example, here, right? When I haven't replied in the time that I read them, for example. Okay. Okay. okay, good, thank you. Let me see, Maria Leticia. Okay, first, este V, Este artículo se lo podemos quitar, María Leticia. Okay. Just first, okay. Just the first F will be capital. Well, first I give oh, it. Oh, you are Hello. just trying to, I see. I'm trying okay. to Hello. highlight the, the phrases. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. First, yeah. I moved to my work okay yes. or i or uh, or i arrive to work in the morning the first for example the first task that i do is review a list of pending medication to order yes. from the super so. that has been ordered or ordered in pass from the supplier okay after that mm -hmm. I contact the supplier and place the order, period, there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. 
So that in one or two days, hi, uh, in two days, you can receive it. Inform the supplier that they will receive that in two days. Then check that billing is up to date and is, and is in order, period. Then at 10 in the morning, 10 a.m. in the morning, I check the menu to order lunch and order three dishes, uh, one for each co-worker. Okay. Then the early afternoon hours are, are quiet. Okay. Although with a lot of, of heat and sleep. <laughs> okay. So you are <laughs> sleepy. Heat and sleep attack. attack. <laughs> but after those long hours, finally, the de the departure time precious to the personnel. arrive between five or six in the afternoon. Okay. Oh, yes, I have finally. It's time to go home. I arrive at home. At between uh, five or six. Okay. Good. Uh, pro work program for tomorrow Thursday. Okay, who who wrote this? Don't forget to write your Me, name. Teacher. Oh, yeah. Gilberto. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget to write your name, okay? First, comma, I go to the company to deliver a deposit report for the work, for each day work, okay? In, San, uh, in Santa Ana. Okay. Uh, Okay, for example, you can say the day that you do that, you said that is on Wednesday, right? That is on today. It could be if, uh, here if you specify the day. Okay. First, on, okay, first, what I do on Wednesday is deliver the positive report for the, for the work that I did in Santa Ana. Or did you go to Santa Ana today, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. After that, I visit the customer of the market. The Tiendona, okay. Then I move to the central market, visit customer, collect invoices and, and place orders. Then I go to the bank, okay, to deposit like, oh. customer payment. And finally, I go to study English. Okay, remember here, period, okay? And then finally, comma, I study English yes. from 7 a.m. to night to 10 p.m. You can say from 7, oh, sorry, from uh, 7 okay. p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. Um, proof. Good ideas. Let me see who is missing. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I already read. Uh, okay, Mauricio Benavides. First, you have uh, to prepare. Then I have okay. to come. First, come. I okay. have to prepare. Because you are talking about you, Mauricio. Okay, teacher. I have to prepare the meeting. How do you say reunión? Here is in Spanish. How meeting. do you say meeting? Okay. Meeting. Okay. The meeting with uh my boss or my co-workers. I don't know. You have to mention with 
who you have the meeting. After that, you have, I have like to schedule the soon meeting in Outlook. Okay? Scheduled instead of program. Then when I am in the meeting, I have to talk with your with my co-workers about the activities we have to do or we did last week. Period. Finally, Final. I have to give then a feedback about the advance of activities and finish the meeting. Okay, be careful uh, which person you are going to use, okay? Okay. Good, thank you so much. Okay, let me see, Kathy. First, I try to work at 7. 20 a.m. Okay, my check in time is 8 a.m. When I arrive, I mark my check in time. When I turn on my computer and check the emails, okay, plural, then I check if I have any pending from the previous day. If not, I make accounting entries of the transaction made. Then I place the order and I sign the documentation. Then I give then it give to it. the manager to sign. Okay, punctuation, okay? Be careful with punctuation. That is what I can see. Punctuation, capitalization. Remember that after one period, you use a capital letter. But you have good ideas, okay? Good. Uh, you are doing a good job. But uh, yeah, be careful with punctuation, okay? Bear agreement means uh, if you are using third person, the verb will be with the third, third person, according to that, to the third person. If I am using uh, myself like an example, okay, the verbs will be according to what I am saying, okay, about me. Be careful with uh, structure, punctuation, capitalization, and the ideas, of course. But you're doing a good job, okay? Congratulations to everyone. I guess I'm not missing anyone here. I already read all of them. Good evening. Good evening. Mine. I just just give me two seconds, and and I and I check this. Okay, yes. Hazel, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Get um, submit it, and then we're yes, going to continue right now. Yes. yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, Mauricio. Mauricio. I heard that you were speaking, but I didn't understand what you said. Can you please repeat? Which one? Buruka. Buruka, uh huh. Okay, I guess it was not with with me or with as not in the class. Okay. Okay, hey, so let me check. At the beginning of the day, uh -huh, first I have to check my email and the chat at Teams to verify some tasks for the day or at instructions or at instruction or instructions. It could be more than okay. one. Okay. Okay. After that, comma, I had to prepare the sales strategy for the team, and then we have our starting meeting. Good. 
Later, comma, at the middle of the day, I have to short coaching session with each sales executive to check. Okay, here, Mrs. Yes. Berlin. How to correct. <laughs> okay. Here is not necessary comma because it's to check the advanced. Okay. Huh? To check the goals in advance, it could it will sounds better to check the goal for the day in advance. Okay. Next, I support them with each request that they can need, that that they may need. Okay. Finally, comma, I check my last result of the day. And I and we established the challenge, or we set the challenge for the next day, or we planned the challenge. Okay, very good. I like it. Thank you, Hazel. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. I can see uh the advance. Uh, you are in a good process, okay? Uh, good job, everybody. So let me see um, what else do we have, okay? So the <clears throat> first question today, is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Do you think this manual can be improved? Okay, if you know the process of training for new hires for new employees in your company uh do you do you know what is the material or the topics in the training um information that sh that should be uh called manual right among manual do you think that they need to be improved what is your opinion volunteers Really important. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the first. The first topic probably it's, it's the story of the com of the company, and and what products they're commercializing. Okay. Um. Well, you are not a train the trainer in the company, but you have an idea how new employees. Okay. A new hire uh, people are trained to to do their their task their jobs right so when you receive your training in the company where you are now how did you evaluate it how did you evaluate the training it was good or do you have suggestions to change part of the training? Jose Andres, yes, go ahead. I think, teacher, that is it's very important uh, manual in the all the in the companies have a manual because there are the steps for someone when someone is new in the in the company mm -hmm. that they, the this person has to follow this step for can develop the job better. And it is for important, example, yes. in, For example, in my company, sometimes or something that I can change is because it's like um, sometimes we don't <clears throat> we don't make or we don't follow the manual for, for example, just uh, contract the, the new security guards, but we don't have sometimes the time for we can explain about the different parts or how can use the weapon okay. for for the yeah for for the time because sometimes it's very important to cover or to bring security in, in a different place and and for the time we don't have enough time for we can explain for the new the new the new agent yes okay understand but it's still right even though you don't have enough time to do that but but they need to be uh to be trained to have a, to have a better 
uh, development um, the first days, right? Yes. Okay. Someone else? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Robert, yes. Okay, teacher, in my company, there are different manuals for different areas. Uh -huh. in, for example, in my my department of city control, there are different different procedures to to the quality control. If you if you a wore a hat, there are a, there there are a, a procedure to to follow and to to check different different materials or, or things in, in this area. If if you if you work in in the plant for 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 cloth for for make cloth or sewing cloth, there are a manual for 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 this area for and and I remember there are procedures in in the human resource in department that vary and department me mechanics and there are different manners in my opinion uh, with this question do you think this manual uh, can be improved yes i i i think the manual can can improve it depends the area it depends the experience or or, or control and when it's necessary to change different points or different comments, I consider it is necessary to improve the, this manner. This is my opinion about the the question. Okay. Yes, thank you so much, Robert. Always, right? Uh, there are new updates that need to be included in the manual. I consider that um, training if you are a trainer so it is not an easy task because you need to to be updated you need to update the material and everything um probably every time that you're going to to teach a training or teach about a pro a product because there is a constant uh changes right always is an exercise to to improve the manuals. Teacher, mm -hmm. sure. I think that uh, it needs to be updated and, and they should include more training for administrative positions. Okay. Uh, because in my case, uh, really, really feel so uh, a little bit without uh, coaching maybe. Mm -hmm. Because uh, really, I need to ask uh, a lot of people who hope to do some things, right? But really, uh, I think that it's good for me. But really, I investigate uh, uh, the procedures. But really, uh, I think that uh, we are sido. Más rápido. Uh, it can be faster. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, faster, yes. It can be faster to understand. Yeah, I remember in the previous uh, model, you told us that you were new in the company, right? You have probably around three or four months. Yes, yes. Uh, it happens mm -hmm. when you are new, you struggle in different processes because you don't you don't have the experience but then uh, according to the experience so you will uh continue learning and then uh, so you will be a master in and everything you do but i guess your boss understand that if they don't uh, explain to you very well and you don't have clear uh, ideas about what you are going to do. So yes. they have to answer all your questions when you ask 
<laughs> yes, it's, yeah, really, it's, it's very uh, difficult, you know, because uh, maybe the co-worker maybe, maybe uh, look at me with, I don't know how you say this, uh, it's like a, like a competition, maybe, I don't know, it's really, I feel very uh, in coma. Anno uh, annoying or uh, it is is annoying is like uncomfortable, a, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Uh -huh. uncomfortable. Yes, but uh, maybe it's uh like a uh, normal in at a certain point, but uh, I think that's maybe the human resource that needs to focus in in this case. Because for to do more more faster the uh, procedures, learn the procedures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess you have a coworker that uh is is doing the same task that you do. Is that correct? Okay. Or yes, is doing but, a different uh, task. In, the the person who was teaching me will do it other or do the other things, but I don't know. I I feel that maybe the uh, he feels maybe like uncomfortable too. That when I see the new people and they and they he feels maybe uncomfortable. Maybe I don't know. Uh, like I feel uh, uh, toxic environment maybe, mm. but uh, it was uh, a little bit time. Then he, the people teaching me, uh, uh, to do other things, you know, because this is this is was the idea that I. I I uh, to do the things of of him to do, and then he translated the other department. But uh, maybe it was a, a a little bit time, but maybe it was for me comfortable. I understand. Uh, yes. I can understand your position, but um, just have patience with them. And do, I mean, do the best for for your position, right? Because if yeah. they are if they are doing different tasks, it's not if they are not doing the same that you are doing, they don't have the reasons why they can feel uh um um I don't know like that, right? Okay, but anyways, so. Try to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you so much for your answers in these questions. So now we are going to have a conversation. So pay attention to this phrase. Okay. That are uh there is one negative and there is one positive. Okay. Okay. Wouldn't wouldn't be better and would be better. Okay, what is the meaning of that phrase? Do you know? It's like I want to that something be better. Mm -hmm. I want to something. Is, if, for example, if I have trouble, it's something to me. <laughs> okay, yes. When we are trying to give an opinion or an advice, okay, we can say that it will be better, okay? Things will be better, maybe. Uh -huh. Yes. Pueden ser mejores si las hacemos así, 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 okay? Mejor que antes. Okay, it is like we're, we're going to compare, it. okay? Okay. Read the following conversation about staff meeting. I need two, three volunteers. Okay, one Sara, 
Oh no, four volunteers. Sara, Walter, Sonia, and Rene. Okay, Jose Andres, it will be Walter. Uh, lady will be Sara. Uh, Maria Leticia will be Sonia. And Mauricio Benavides will be Rene. Go ahead. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you do, propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should raise the customer and after that, how they, they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server stress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Okay, now, uh, Gilberto, you will be Walter. Um, Sofia, you will be Sara. Robert, you will be Rene. And who else wants to participate? Okay. We need to create the menu steps to include in the menu to train our staff. What do you do propose? I'm sorry, just a moment. Okay, I need four volunteers. I have, okay, uh, Sophia, you will be Sarah, right? Okay. Okay, and Walter will be, who I said that will be Walter? No, I, can, I, can, I, I can be Walter, okay. teacher. What? Okay, let me take notes because I didn't take. And then now I forgot. Sofia will be Sara. Okay. Rodrigo, you said that you will be Walter. Who wants to be Sonia? It doesn't matter if, if, if it's... Um, a man. Me teacher. Okay, Mauricio, you will be Sonia. And another volunteer? Yeah, I am Rene. Robert, you will be Rene. Okay, go ahead. Okay. We need to create the menu steps to include in the menu to train our <laughs> staff. What do you do propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress call and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you so much. They are talking about, I mean, uh, um, manual, right? Manual. For new employees, for new trainees. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Um, do you have questions about this? Yeah, teacher. Uh, what's mean servers? Servers? Servers dress. Server to... is like a staff or, or, or means other teams? The server server dress code and appearance in the first charter. Yeah, los, uh, people who, who are going to serve so they are talking about the, the dress code. 
the way the that they waiter. are going to dress. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Who else? Someone else has a question? And would, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better? Podría ser mejor. Mm -hmm. No podría ser mejor. Mm -hmm. No podría ser mejor. Yeah, because it's negative here. Okay, okay, thank you. It is a question. It's asking like you. It's asking like, uh, no, ¿crees que no podría ser mejor? Uh, if the charter one is about servers, should uh, greet the customer and after that how they need to present the menu okay so it is a question so and then Rene uh, and then Rene uh, confirm actually it will be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first charter they are like I'm making an agreement okay what, what will be included in the first charter in the manual Okay, good. Thank you so much for your participation here. The okay. appearance for them is very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. First for the customer. It is. Okay. okay. Uh, now we're going to um, read the server's training manuals, topics, what should be included there. Okay, read the contents in a server's training manual. Organize the topic to create the, the index of the manual of the right. Then present your index to the class and explain the reason for your choice. So do you know what is the index, right? Guys, do you know what is an index? Indice, maybe. Indice. Uh -huh. Indice. Correct. Okay, here. Ah, Mauricio me está manchando. Me está manchando <laughs> la pizarra, Mauricio. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> ya lo vi. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Servers training manual. Sitting at the table, that are possible topics that will be included in the manual, okay? Sitting at the table, one topic. Decanting wine, two, topic two. Requesting a shift change, number three. Following the schedule, number four. Addressing kitchen personnel, number five. Getting to know the menu, number Six, dress code, number seven. Addressing customers, number eight. About tips and taxes, number nine. And prevention of accidents and safety, number 10. Okay, this says the, to the those are the topics that are included in the manual for a restaurant, okay? So now you are going to create one um index okay for topics that you consider that are important in your company not in a restaurant in your company so the order of the topic that the manual should have well, according what you think okay what will be will be better to have in the manual um, I'm going to make pair words so you can you can work one company um or two depends because you work in different companies. So if you work with just one for one company, the other classmate can help you with ideas. Okay, if that is your company, uh, you can help. The your classmate with the ideas, but if you want to create two manuals to index, it's okay. But try just to remember the important topics that you consider that are uh like 
necessary to know to work in your company. So the the most important topic that you need to work in in the place or area that you work. Questions? Tienen alguna pregunta, guys? No? Yeah. Mauricio, do you have? Nope. No? No? I don't have any. Okay. I have a question, teacher. Yes, Robert. The, the manual uh, we we made is about the, the our company. Your company, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, different area. One is specific. The area where you work, you can okay. take a, as an example. Topics that you consider that will be important. Uh, that are new hire, no. The, the manner for improve the, the area. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. okay. And the order, the sequence of the topics in the manual. Okay. okay, that will include the index. Okay, let me create the teams. Kathy Griseida, are you available? Kathy? Yes. Okay. Mauricio Buruca, are you available now? Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, I will. I am going to eat my dinner fast. Mm, but I'm going to make the the partners at this moment. Ah, uh, the 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 pair work. Ah, okay, okay. I no don't know problem. if you if you will be able to work with someone. Yes. Yes, I, I can. I can do it. Okay. Good. So, Mauricio Benavides, I will include you in a, yeah, in a group of, you will be three, okay, uh, in team number one, because I don't have another, another uh, partner for you. Okay. Just to make sure, let me see. Oh, let me see. Hazel, are you available? Yes. And Silvia Stella? Silvia, are you available? Silvia? No? Okay. Okay, we'll open the rooms now.
Ah, aprovechando que está la teacher. Hello, Hello. teacher. Hello, teacher. I have a question for you. Teacher. Teacher, hello. Hola. Sorry. Sorry, I was <laughs> without the headset. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> okay. Hey, teacher, the, the, the question is the following. Uh, we create two procedures, one for Carlos y, y uno y uno para uno de mi área. Serían dos. dos okay. Dos. No. You can create one or two. It's up to you, okay? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter. If you want to create just one, for it's example, okay. just Carlos or area, you can support him with ideas, Robert. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Carlitos. Uh, ¿Qué piensas? ¿Creamos uno, uno en cada área o uno solo? Uh, si quiere uno solo, Robertillo. Ah, ok. Are you working, guys? Gilberto? Eh, Are you working with Julio? Poco hemos trabajado, teacher, pero eh, okay. the, the manual of the company, global import spy, eh, the, the, the obligation, the salesman, First, starting on Monday, and meeting, meeting general, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, remember, Gilberto, recuerde que van a ser un, es como un índice de todos los temas que irían en, en el manual de entrenamiento. Si usted contratara a alguien, si usted lo tuviera que dar training, a un nuevo employee para que hiciera lo que usted hace, ¿cuáles serían los temas que usted le daría a esa persona? Entonces usted va a ordenar eh, los temas en el, en el manual, así como usted se los daría, se los enseñaría. Ok. Uh -huh. Just the topics for the okay. training. Ok. Uh -huh. For example, you can say, okay, topic number one will be uh, uh, know about different products, right, that we have, like the names and um, para que se usan, I don't know. Um, num topic number two, it could be uh, know the clients, the name of the clients, where they are located. Number three, uh, the, the routes that they will go, okay? Las rutas que ellos irían. So, so there you can, you can think about the different topics that you consider that are important to teach someone that will work in your position, okay? Okay. Okay. See you uh, in a few minutes, okay? I will join another another team. Okay. Yes. Mauricio? Hi, teacher. We have a little problem. Hazel was leave the reunion. Could you bring, bring, in, bring her back? Mm, okay, let me see. Let me go to the main station to see if she is there. Thanks. Okay. I don't know why she, she did it, but she left. Mm -hmm. Let me try, she, okay? She left me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Let me try. And Rodrigo never come. 
probably he, he, he is still eating. He's, he's still eating. He's dinner. Okay. Let me see. Let me let me try to 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 bring her back. Thanks. Andres, do you have issues? Mm, yes, I I uh, I be with the Daniela, but I see right now that in the WhatsApp chat that is there is out of the Zoom room. She was she is my partner. Let me bring her to to your room. Your room is number three, right? I think that is yes, room three. Yes, yes. Okay, let me let me send her to your room, Daniela, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, and just a question: We are going to order the 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 words that is in the array and put in order in the like an index in in the in the left that is the the work no um no you're just, you are going to create an index uh-huh but the the example that... is in the right correct yes oh, okay okay mm -hmm. okay good. We're going to create an index about the topics that you consider that will be important to teach a new employee in your company. Oh, okay, okay. All right, now I understand. Good. So I already requested to Daniela to, to, to join this team. I don't know why she's not, she doesn't accept. Oh, she's back. Hi, Daniela. Daniela. Hello. I guess she is having issues with the internet connection. Probably, teacher. But I understand. I, I'm going to make them um, from my own. <laughs> okay. Remember, you can you can do i mean you can create one or two it depends if you have time okay teacher okay okay thank you daniela hello Addressing customers. Number three, addressing kitchen personnel. Number four, getting to know the menu. Number five, dress code. Number six, following the schedule. Number seven, sitting at table. Number eight, about tips and taxes. Number nine, requesting a ship chain. Number 10, decanting, decanting wine. Yes. Mm. No, 
sé si podríamos como... ver si sería así el orden correcto. Lady, so in this case, uh, according to your experience, what you consider that is better uh, for a new employee, new trainee, that is how you are going to create it, okay? Ok. Según el trabajo dijo también, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. According to the position, um, according to your experience, if you were a new employee in the company, how would you like to receive the, the topics? Which order? Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. La La primera es toma, tomar la orden de venta. Luego crear la tercera es la que está mala. Porque es crear uh -huh. la orden de entrega. ¿De entrega? Sí. De entrega. Sería create, create the, the delivery order. Sí. O create sí. Create the delivery. Sí. Crear la, la entrega, ¿verdad? Crear la entrega. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, y hay delivery. que ponerle los tú que, que usted dijo antes de, de los verbos. Okay. Ajá, antes de los verbos. Sí, to create the to create delivery sería nada más ahí, creo yo, ¿verdad? La tres. Sí. Uh -huh. Y el ticket de entrega es el que lleva los detalles de que. Ah, no sé si lo tenemos que explicar. Uh -huh. Ah, podría ser el que lleva los detalles del, del producto. Es que, ajá. O sea, a lo que me refiero es que si tomamos cada ítem y explicamos más o menos de qué se trata. Por ejemplo, eh, tomar la, la... To take the sales order significa que vas a tomar la... Orden de venta que generó un vendedor. Sí. ¿Verdad? Y Muy luego bien. la segunda es identificar el producto a despachar. Y eso es, es ya el operario de bodega que va a identificar el producto que aparece en la orden de venta. Toma las series, toma la descripción, el modelo y todo y la, lo descarga del inventario. Luego okay. el siguiente es crear la orden de envío. Que el fulanito que ya recogió el, el identificó el producto se va a la sí. computadora y genera el, el, como el, la hoja de despacho. el ah, es un ticket que identifica el producto y que le colocas ahí encima de que para dónde va, quién es el fulanito que lo, que lo va a comprar y si eso ya está pagado o no está pagado. Ah, y okay. lo segundo es generar el ticket de despacho, que es el ticket de salida que toma el. el eh, el motorista o el, el, el encargado de despacho que lleva todo como el como lleva el o sea es el, el como el mandamiento que lleva el listado de todos los productos que tiene que subir al camión ok entonces esos okay. tickets que son los que él lleva para que no son los que están pegados en el producto más bien son los que lleva fuera como como una página de, de tracking Regas. Ajá. ok ¿Ah? Y la Entrega. otra es agregar la, a la ruta de despacho, porque él, él tiene ya el producto. Production of the main topic with a human resource number two or step two, the new trainee has a presentation about all the products and their and the specifications. I think it's there. The third one probably will be the, the, the goals and the, the skills you have, you have to, to do on your, on your work. Va, entonces el primer paso sería induction. The second sería product training. Y ahí diríamos eso. The new trainee has a presentation about 
all the products and their specification. Um, Esto se debe ser como la, las, the goals, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, es los, sería la los objetivos Ajá, y, la, y, la, y las actitudes. Y el cuarto debería ser como el código de vestimenta. No me parece. Entonces, al, al tercero, ya me molé así, sencillo. Eh, the goals, que sería uh -huh. para nombrar las metas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De, ver, no sé lo que va a pasar esto. De no, training, porque lo estoy en mi libreta. Uh, uh, presentation. Teacher, we, we have to present in Canvas or just talk about the manual. Uh, just talk about the manual because at this time uh, you need you will need more minutes to create it in Canvas, right? Okay. And we don't have enough time. Yes, I almost closed the Teams. Yeah. We, <laughs> I will we, give we, you another two or three minutes, okay? We can have we can do a, a manual to do a manual. <laughs> <laughs> En el chat de coach. Ok. Gracias. ¿Lo voy a grabar? Sí. Um, vale, dijimos que el siguiente sería de metas. Entonces, aquí en esta parte mencionamos que se va a hacer la presentación de metas. ¿Right? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. eh... You could take a picture. Sure. I have a question. Yeah, I'm ready, but I have a question. Okay. For example, when we talk about the weapons, and I want to say, uh, I, I'm fine in Google <laughs> and clear. If I want to say that despejar, but I don't know if the is the correct word. For say, for say. What do you mean, uh, despejar? Um, despejar el arma. Oh, despejar el arma. Yeah. In Spanish, it's like that. <laughs> but I don't know, it's like, a, it's possible, it's a, another, it's like a, another word from, from, from USA. But I, in, in, our, in, our, in our language, is despejar el arma. But what is the action that you do when you, cuando despejamos el arma? La... Bueno, en español se podría decir que se despejar el arma, este es como se llama, llevarlo, a, porque yo le he puesto clear the weapon in a safe place. Este, despejar el arma en un lugar seguro a la acción se le llama cuando uno revisa cómo se carga el arma y deja ir un aprieta el gatillo para en un lugar seguro para que no para que se identifique que no haya ninguna bala dentro del arma entonces este es, es, así se llama la acción yes. okay. el this arma, case pero... will be like a test test de, de... The, the weapon to verify if um, it is it is um, secure will be to check to check or to test test mm -hmm. Yes, will be test because it is like a test, the testing that you are doing, right? Test. How do you spell it, I'm sorry. It is like a test. Prueba. T E S T. Okay. Is it like a prueba, huh? Okay. Okay, if you are ready, I'm going to 
going to close the, 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 the teams, okay? Okay, teacher. Good. Yeah.